Sunday, September 11, 2011. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1995 Subaru Legacy. Today, I'm actually going to be uh, tackling some rust work. Um, overall, when I bought this car, I thought it was uh, pretty clean. I mean, it is a native New England car. Obviously, there's a, this spot I have to take care of. Um, you can see the uh, panel is completely rotted there, so I'm going to have to uh, take that down, uh, take that back to bare metal, and uh, then coat it and put a patch in there. But what I'm actually more concerned about is, uh, I guess I'm getting on the ground here, right down here under the car you can see the uh, rear suspension carrier, which is all sorts of nasty. Now there was really no way I was, uh, I could check this out before I bought the car and uh, obviously it uh, does need attention. These do uh, rust out, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a wire brush to this by hand as best I can then uh, clean it up and coat it with miracle paint which should definitely buy me some more time uh, perhaps a couple more years with this and well, basically that's what I'm uh, doing today okay I've been scraping away at everything for a couple of minutes now uh, with the wire brush so pretty much ready to break, break out the uh, brake parts cleaner and clean this up so I can then get to um, get to using the miracle paint and thankfully as nasty as this looks it looks like it's uh, still structurally sound just really scaly and actually Subaru uh, did issue a recall on this I'm not sure if it was specifically for the legacy but I know in the late 90s there was a uh, problem with these axles with these uh, suspension carrier beams rusting out and of course the Subaru solution was kind of what I'm doing right now which is uh, uh, cleaning it up and putting some rust proofing on it so that's what I'm, what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna clean this up get miracle paint on everything then maybe take care of a couple of little spots back here like like this uh, little bubble here in the spare tire well that sort of thing uh, I was actually a bit uh, surprised and dismayed when I found when I noticed this a couple of months ago when I was fixing the gas tank. Uh, I didn't really have any way of checking this out when I bought the car. I know some people say, well, you should have a car inspected when you buy it, but when you buy cars as cheaply as I do, um, there's really no uh, uh, no practical way to do that. Most people don't want to deal with an inspection. I know when I sell a cheap car and somebody says they want to have it inspected, I basically tell them, look, you you look at the car yourself. Um, that's fine, but, you know, I'm not going to let you take it to a mechanic. I've had people actually want me to surrender my car to them, let them take it to their mechanic and bring it back at their own uh, leisure, and, of course, I tell them to go to hell. Um, you know, of course, if you're buying a really expensive car, that's a great idea. I also didn't consider it all that necessary because I bought this car from a, uh, you know, dealer slash mechanic, and, uh, of course, I'm never going to do that again because I... And the guy said the car was all checked out for all the major stuff, and uh, what it didn't really occur to me was that uh, they just got the car to the point where they could legally sell it, and they didn't take care of a lot of uh, little problems, which I've been taking care of over the past couple of months. But, um, as I said, I really do like the car. I'm going to clean this up here and uh, get a few more years out of this at least, because um, I really don't want to ever have to uh, replace this beam. If it ever comes to that, I will, um, you know, possibly even replace the whole car. So, that's where I am for now. I wanted to show you the uh, finished Miracle Paint work down here. See, I got these uh, spots on the uh, spare tire well, which really, uh, thankfully, were just surface rust. I was afraid that maybe they, uh, there were some uh, holes there. But uh, no, I scraped it down. It was just surface rust, so that's just fine. And then I got the, um, and obviously I worked from the front of the car back to minimize dripping on me. But I got the uh, uh, the sway bar, the, uh, the suspension carrier itself, and of course there was a whole bunch of dripping on everything back here. So I just uh, kind of spread that out as best I could. 
Obviously, you can't get to the whole rear suspension carrier without taking it out of the car, and if you're going to do that, you may as well uh, replace it with uh, uh, one that's in perfect shape and, you know, coated in something like this before you put it in, but uh, there's a good amount you can get to here before without taking it out, and I think I got all the uh, important structural areas, uh, aside from the top, that is, you can't get to the top, but this should definitely buy me some more time. Obviously, I'm going to let this uh, dry a while, then probably sp uh, spray some undercoating on everything. Um, the stuff does dry rock hard, and uh, this should uh, definitely buy some time for all this stuff down here. And uh, Once again, it's really kind of hard to do this kind of rust work and expect it to uh, last forever. Uh, especially if you're driving a car, once again, especially in the Northeast. I mean, you can certainly slow rust down, and that's really the best way to approach the task. I, mean, I suppose if you start from scratch, you can probably uh, you know, take everything apart. You know, put good, uh, put a good amount of coating on everything, and that would do the job. But uh, most people don't have the time, money, or resources to do that, so. That's what this is. Uh, that's how this turned out. And like I said, I'm probably going to spray some uh, undercoating on here before I'm done for the day.